What is Gas Absorption Unit? Gas Absorption Unit is a unit in which the soluble components of a gas mixture are dissolved into a liquid phase. Absorption, in common with distillation, make use of special equipment for bringing gas and liquid phases into intimate contact. The unit is designed to operate at atmospheric pressure in a continuous operation. It has the following special features. It has fully instrumented to allow for convenient data collection and analysis. The glass column and vessels permit good visual monitoring of the process. Sampling points for composition analysis are provided for liquid streams. The online monitoring of carbon dioxide of gas concentration are also provided. The gas absorption unit is developed primarily to demonstrate the absorption of carbon dioxide into water. In the packed column, the gas and the liquid flow counter currently. And the packing serves to provide the contacting and development of interfacial surface through which mass transfer takes place. Air and carbon dioxide are mixed before being fed into the bottom of a packed absorption column, while water enters from the top of the column through a centrifugal pump. The transfer of carbon dioxide from air mixture into water occurs when gas and liquid are brought into contact. The lean air mixture will exit at the top, whereas the carbon dioxide rich water will accumulate at the bottom of the column and overflow into a receiving vessel. The receiving vessel, which are 50 liter cylindrical vessels equipped with charge port and venting. They are labeled by a symbol B1 and B2. The absorption column, which is a packed column, are filled with ratchet rings, inlet and outlet connection for the counter current gas and liquid flow. The effective of the column height is 150 cm and the absorption column is labeled as K1. A centrifugal pump is used to pump the water to the top of the column. This centrifugal pump will deliver 60 liter per minute of water at a maximum delivery height of 6.3 meter. This pump is labeled as P1. There are four instruments used to control the column. One is the temperature controller. The second is the flow rate controller. The third is the pressure controller and the fourth, the composition analyzer. The temperature controller is used to measure the inlet gas temperature, the inlet water temperature, the outlet water temperature, and the outlet gas temperature from the absorption column. While, the flow rate controller is used to measure 
the inlet air flow rates, the inlet carbon dioxide flow rates, the inlet water flow rates, and the vent from the absorption column. The pressure controller is used to measure the pressure drops in the absorption column. The composition analyzer is used to measure or to analyze the exit gas carbon dioxide and the inlet gas carbon dioxide. Figure 1 shows the process flow diagram of gas absorption column. General startup procedures. First, you need to ensure all valves are initially closed except ventilation valve which is labeled as HV13 that should be fully open. Second, you need to drain any stagnant liquid above the sampling valve which is labeled as HV03. The third step is to open the valve on the compressed air and carbon dioxide supply line. Set the pressure air supply to 0.2 MPa and pressure of carbon dioxide supply to be 2 MPa. Then, turn on the main switch at the control panel. General shutdown procedures Turn off pump 1 Close valve water supply and valve HV01, HV02, HV11 Drain all liquids from the column K1 by opening valve HV03. Drain all liquids from receiving vessel B1 and B2 by opening valve HV07 and HV08. Close valve HV03, HV04, HV07, HV08, and HV10. Close valve HV12, HV14, HV15, HV16, and HV17. Ensure that valve HV13 is fully open. And the last step is to turn off the main switch at control panel. Carbon dioxide analyzer procedures. Switch on the control panel and let the system on for about 15 minutes to stabilize the system and to make sure the carbon dioxide analyzer warming up. Check the control panel QT401 and QT402 achieve a constant value. Push the reset button QT401 and QT402 on the junction box for about 2 seconds. Turn on the air compressor and let the air flow into the system. Let the system running about 5 minutes to ventilate the remaining carbon dioxide in the analyzer. Once the reading of carbon dioxide shows the zero value at the indicator display, the experiment is ready to be run. Liquid Sampling Procedures Samples can be taken from liquid entering and exiting the absorption column. 
sampling valve are located at HV03 for inlet liquid to absorption column K1 and HV03 for the outlet liquid from absorption column K1. The procedures for collecting a sample are as follows. First, drain any stagnated liquid above the sampling valve. Place a vial below the sampling valve. Open sampling valve and collect about 150 ml of sample. Close the sampling valve. Analysis of dissolved carbon dioxide in water. Water, which is used as a solvent for absorption process, should be deionized because of the presence of dissolved salts could affect the analysis method as described. In order to do the analysis of dissolved carbon dioxide in water, sample should be obtained. 100 ml of samples is prepared. Add 3 to 5 drops of phenolphthalein indicator in the sample. If the sample turns red immediately, there is no free carbon dioxide present. If the sample remains colorless, titrate with 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide standard solution. Measure the volume of 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide required to reach the end point. The end point occurs when a definite soft pink color is present. The objective of this experiment is to study the effects of inlet gas composition on carbon dioxide absorption. The following are the experiment procedures. Perform the general startup procedures. Open valve HV12, HV13, HV14, HV15, and HV16. Open valve HV4, HV07, and HV17. Open the water supply valve to fill the tank B1 with 30 liter of water. Fully open valve HV10 and slightly open HV09. Turn on pump 1 at the control panel. Open and adjust HV11 to give the water flow rates approximately 1.5 liter per minute at FT303 on control panel. Allow water to enter the top of the column K1. The water should flow downward in the column. By opening HV03, collect 100 mm of samples. Open and adjust HV02, which is the carbon dioxide supply, to give the flow rates of 3 liter per minute. Immediately start the timer and collect the sample every 5 minutes interval until there is no more changes in carbon dioxide composition over time. Sample should be collected at HV03. When the sample is collected, record the outlet carbon dioxide composition at QT401 on the control panel. 
analyze the collected sample to determine the composition of dissolved carbon dioxide. Use the method or the procedure in the analysis of dissolved carbon dioxide mentioned before. Turn off the pump P1. Close the water supply valve and valve HV01, HV02, HV11. So HV01, HV02, HV11 should be closed. Drain all liquid from column K1 by opening HV03. Drain all liquids from receiving vessel B1 and B2 by opening valve HV07 and HV08. Close valve HV03, HV04, HV07, HV08, HV10. Followed by closing valve HV12, HV14, HV15. HV16 and HV17. Ensure all valves are closed but HV13 is fully open. Turn off the main switch at the control panel. 